I'm going to read you a story. <laughs> Do I know how to read? <laughs> Is that what the words? Oh, yeah. I can read up to a hundred. <laughs> Who said anything about reading? Children's stories are for kids. I mean, uh, where's the monitor? I love to read to kids. <laughs> it's uh, my specialty. Yes, well, <clears throat> I came across this one in a broom closet. It's called The Precious Basu from the Brooding Brats Collection. Lovely. Piddles, paddles, puddles, and poo all snuck outside without their shoes. The mother was not at all amused with piddles and paddles and puddles and poop. Piddles and paddles were sent to the room and puddles and poo were swished with a broom. The whole incident was forgot about soon till they snuck out again with their father's pursuit. <laughs> now piddles and paddles knew better than that and puddles and poo were put down for their nap. They were seen from the windows and caught taking turns and filling the things with insects and worms. <laughs> when your father gets home, he'll be fit to be tied. Be no supper for you for the rest of your lives. Be no treat before bedtime or story tonight. Now, go clean up your room to stay out of my sight. Piddles and paddles, I'm running away. Mom's going to tattle and we'll get the blame. So I'll pack a late lunch for the afternoon train and I'll change my address, and my clothes, and my name. Now, Pat, said Piddles, and Puddles and Pooh, that's not the best thing we would think you should do. You've made up your mind without thinking it through. Start changing your name, we won't know if it's you. We don't know if it's you, we can't come to your aid if you're homeless or kidnapped or get buzz in your braids. And who sent you to bed if you haven't behaved? We don't think it's too smart, this decision you've made. Maybe I'll stay in my room for a year. When they call out my name, I'll pretend I don't hear. Piddle, said Pals, you're getting too strange. I think that there's something that's wrong with your brain. Now what about Daddy? We'll be home again soon. He's sure to be sore about his precious bassoon. Piddle, said Pals, let's blame it on Pooh. And Puddles agreed, that's the best thing to do. Pooh's never punished more than she can endure. Let's all stick together and blame it on her. <laughs> Shame on you, Puddles. What a fib you have flung. When you lie through your teeth, you get sores on your tongue. You get sores on your tongue, you can't swallow your food. And you'll choke at the table, which is thoughtlessly rude. I'd rather choke at the table than starve in my room and let Pooh take the blame for Dad's precious bassoon. <laughs> if you left it inside, and never thought of the game, and we wouldn't need Puddles or Pooh to be blamed. Piddles, said Paddles. So what'd you suggest? That we snitch on ourselves until we confess? When Daddy gets home, we'll say it's all a mistake. The facts are still fuzzy as to what had took place. And it's really quite likely that no one's to blame. We were just helping the worms to get out of the raid. But Paddles was sure he'd go out of his mind. He'll stick us in places where no one will find, and whip us and whack us and leave us behind, till we're hungry and homeless and 109. Then forget where he left us, which way or how far, and then just for giggles, forget who we are. Or maybe it'll be much worse than that. He'll cut our allowance and make us take naps. Mm. At the far bedroom window sat Puddles and Poop. When their father got home, they jumped down with the nose. Piddles and Paddles tried to hide, feared he'd beat them. The others forgot they were in trouble and ran out to greet him. In a moment or two, he appeared at the door 
and from under a heap in the toys on the floor, sorrowfully waiting and weeping with worry, anticipating, but not in a hurry. <laughs> and what have you two been up to today? Each hoped that the other would have something to say. We were grounded and yelled at and sent to our rooms because we stuck a few worms in your precious bacill. So I've heard, said the father. And that's not like you. You're hardly the type that would stop at a few. And Paddles, who hardly did more than her share, was quick to point out how it just wasn't fair. I may be old-fashioned or uh, unjustly concerned, but I don't care for my things to get all full of worms. So if you want to live long and make lots of new friends, you'll think more than twice before you do it again. We will, and we're sorry. Can we go now and play? <laughs> to do yard chores and housework and homework, you may. I'd rather you beat us and lock us out in the rain. And the plan for tomorrow, said their fathers, the same. And so went the day, or the next day or two, for piddles and paddles and puddles and poo. <laughs> Hope you like this story. Love, love. Bye-bye, <laughs> then. I should do this for a living. <laughs> Bye, you guys. <laughs>